Good morning, welcome to the next weekly croc vlog. We're gonna open up this week with a little physique update. So I'm holding on to 77 and a half kilos, which is good because with the, all this home training, if I start to lose weight, then I know that I'm starting to lose muscle. So this is a great sign that I think I'm building leg muscle actually, because all this home training, I'm doing so many squat jumps, lunge jumps, running, all these things. It's building the legs up a little bit, but I'm worried about shoulders and arms. So I'm gonna make sure that they get a big beasting this week as I start my kettlebell week with my workout content. Um, nutrition, I am maintaining 2,500 calories um, every single day, the best I can, even through the weekend, which has helped me stay lean, but also be enough food to build and maintain muscle. First major task of the day today um, is filming my next Under Armour workout like I did last couple of weeks, um, Under Armour Global from headquarters have asked a few trainers around the world to film home workouts for me, for them, and incredibly I'm one of them. So I'm just planning that workout for filming now and then it goes out to all of their channels. Incredible stuff. This week we start training with the kettlebells. Week one was body weight. Week two last week was dumbbells. It's a bloody noisy fucking week. Sorry for the F-bomb, but I've had a really stressful morning trying to record things very loud around me. Not gonna lie, it's been a challenging day. It's been, felt like I've been up against so many different things today. Everything's been against me and I've let my mind uh, beat me, but I've still managed to crack through. Made a YouTube video, had a good kettlebell workout. Just gone live on Instagram as well. Tomorrow's gonna be a better day, um, but I feel better after sweating. <laughs> Okay, what day are we? Tuesday, I woke up early this morning, did my stretching, mobility, got myself a tea and a coffee, and I'm improving my productivity this week by writing down my must-dos and nice-to-dos. I've written it on my whiteboard, and I find that this is helping me have some clarity in the day. Sounds silly, but ticking something off when you've done it is a little win during the day and it enables you to get through the day knowing that you're actually achieving things because one of my issues recently is when you're working for yourself and you have so much to do there's never any end to the things you do and it's been leaving me feel a little bit um, low sometimes so by having a list of things which I think I can achieve in the day makes me feel at the end of the day um, that I have actually achieved things and the nice to do is the things that it's okay if that rolls on into tomorrow then that's okay. Best delivery of the month. Here we go, Reflex Nutrition. Nice big tub of Instant Whey Pro. That is for some shakes and so I have that with like my protein porridge and stuff like that. Next Gen Pro Multivitamin, especially important right now to keep that immunity topped up. Um, I was running low on my Omega 3s. I have one of those in the morning. And then I have this plant-based protein, which I have in my smoothies every single morning. Wild berry flavor is incredible. And then I have my creatine, five grams of creatine a day in my post-workout shake. I was running, sorry about the uh, washing machine, by the way. I was running low on my muscle bomb pre-workout. I have this pre-workout every single day. And then two boxes of protein bars. Um, and I absolutely love the cookies and cream flavor and the cherry bakewell. What's this? Ah, oh, and complete diet protein sachet they gave me for free, which is also an incredible product, which I've had post-workout as well before. And here is my shake, all made up already. Guys, if you want any supplements and you're in UK or Europe, sorry if you're outside of UK and Europe, uh, but you can get Reflex Nutrition with 40% off using my code PTCROCKFORD50 and they're just, they're the best supplements you can get. I've been using them for about seven years non-stop now and I've put my results down to many, many things, but being able to trust a supplement brand that's local to me with the best ingredients is a big thing for me. Wow, big day, just went live on Instagram with one of my Under Armour teammates called Sam. So it was an extracurricular uh, live workout that I don't normally do in the week, that was good. That was like a full body strength and cardio hit. And then I just did out in the garden in the sun my um, CrocFit abs workout from the CrocFit app. And now it's time for my second shake of the day. 
this evening I've come out to the park because I've come to check out the super moon. This moon is incredible. Obviously, this isn't going to do it justice, but I'm a lover of the universe, space, and all things planets and aliens and stuff like that. Can't focus on the moon. <laughs> Don't know what the camera's doing, but you can see how bright you can see how bright and amazing that moon is and this is a super moon because it is the one day a year that this moon the only moon our moon is closest to earth wow crazy afternoon just did kettlebell push workout chest and shoulders filmed it for youtube make sure you check that out felt really good actually loving the kettlebell week so far then i jumped back into the kitchen really fast to do instagram live to do instagram live cooking in the kitchen and a little bit of q a so make sure you look out for these a little physique update today because it is thursday the 9th of april and for two reasons really the first reason is because I dropped weight again. I'm down into 76.7 kilos. I haven't been 76 kilograms for a long time, for ages. So I am feeling really, really lean whilst maintaining or potentially even building muscle. Like I'm really training hard at the moment, eating well. I've been eating 2,500 calories a day for a good few weeks now. And the first couple of weeks, it kind of just maintained weight. And for the past week, the weight has just dropped down. So I think it takes a while of that kind of consistency to really show the results. Um, so clearly 2,500 calories is quite a strong deficit for me. Um, the second reason is because <laughs> I'm about to head into my favorite weekend of the year, which is Easter weekend. My family are proper cho chocoholics. So we're gonna expect lots and lots of chocolate. Me and Sarah have been doing Lent, so we've been really good with our nutrition and diet. So I'm looking forward to loads and loads of chocolate. I don't normally condone binges, but I really feel like really relaxing and, and eating big. Um, so I know that I'm gonna lose this tightness um, for the next week or a couple of weeks and then work hard to bring it back and maybe a slight step backwards and I'm okay with that. So that starts uh, this evening, but I'll update you more about that later on. Today's main workout was out in the garden, Instagram live with Under Armour team athlete Sophie Grace Holmes went live on Instagram together. I did the strength session. She did the hit session about 25 minutes, absolute sweat. I hope you're enjoying all these live workouts we're doing for you. It's added accountability for my training because I work hard on the camera, but also added value for you guys to train alongside us, which is awesome. And Sarah's practicing, <laughs> show me her handstands. She's really getting good at it. Like, don't know, like 20 times a day, she just, whilst the kettle's boiling or something, just jumps up into a handstand. Pickle just watches us or lays down. Like I said, Easter is a massive tradition for me and my family. We always spend the weekend together. And um, yesterday um, evening, which was Thursday evening, I did the sad thing of driving around to all of their individual houses and dropping Easter eggs off to them, keeping our two meters distance and stuff like that, which is really sad because it's normally on Sunday that we have a big Easter lunch and have chocolate together. So it's very sad. They obviously gave me my Easter eggs as well. So we've got a little collection going so far, very nice. My sister's gonna drop more on Sunday. Um, but we did break our chocolate fast last night from, from Easter. Uh, my mum has also given me lots of cakes in which there's not many cakes left. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm in a sugar coma already, but I do still have lots of training to be done, a live workout this evening, more kettlebell workouts to be done. So I'm making sure that I'm staying on my normal habits of about to eat my um, green smoothie this morning. I have my omelette, normal lunch, but it's just some nice chocolate on the side and try to get through this weekend with some slight normality as well. Cannot stop sweating in this workout. I'm doing kettlebell leg day. Sarah's getting proper productive and doing all the, the gardening in the back garden and front garden. <sighs> big projects this spring, big projects. Oh my god, I was so excited. I forgot to even film it. Pizza done, complete. Massive, massive pizza. Two medium pizzas to ourselves with, with all the kind of extras on the side. I'm three glasses down to some lovely, lovely whiskey. So first takeaway in six weeks, first bit of alcohol in six weeks, enjoying it very much. And um, it has really helped me uh, relax a little bit. I've been working extremely hard today and for the last few weeks. So just gonna sit down, watch a film, have another couple of glasses, bit of chocolate, and then 
tomorrow's Sunday, back to work. Happy Easter Sunday! We've already eaten so much chocolate and all sorts, however, like I said uh, previously in the video, Easter is a massive time for me and my family, it's very sad that um, we don't get to see each other today because of the lockdown. However, because my sister loves Easter so much and the Easter egg hunt that we normally do, even though I'm coming up to 30 and both my sisters are older than me, we still continue to do the Easter egg hunt. However, I do have nieces who have enjoyed it and they're young. Um, however, my sister has just driven all the way to my house, to the back garden, and hidden some <laughs> Easter eggs for me. <laughs> so, so cute. Um, we live like 20 minutes away from them, so she's come all the way. So she told us to close the curtains while she does it and open the curtains. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> right, let's get out there. Let's go. <laughs> These are the two major. Oh, look at this. You pick all of these up, Choco Bond. Look at this. Look at this basket. <laughs> oh, oh, I dropped you. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's gone crazy. Reese's Kinder. <gasps> Kinder, you love a bit of Kinder. Caramel. Milky cream, bar. cream eggs. Galaxy Milky Bar. Yeah, we're only like 30 years old. So cute. Are you excited to finish this Look. Easter Sunday? Look at this. We have the roast chicken with a lemon up his bum. We have the roast potatoes. We have the carrots, the parsnips, the onions, the broccoli, the cabbage, and the apple. Mm. Let's dig in. Okay, good morning guys. It is Easter Monday and I don't feel guilty from all the food, but I feel disgusting. It's a nice reminder that I love the way that health feels, I love the way that exercising and eating healthy food feels. I've eaten so much chocolate, so much bad food. And if you remember earlier on in the video where I did my physique update before the binge began, compared to now, is so much different. And I normally say that it's about, I say, I normally predict that one bad day needs about two perfect days to get back to where I was. So four days of rubbish food will take me at least eight days to get back to where I was. So that's gonna have to wait until next week's weekly croc vlog. I'm gonna end the video here, and next week the hard work begins to bring back this physique. Instagram and YouTube won't have any topless workouts for at least a week. It'll all be t-shirts and vests from now on. So if you see that, then you know why I got to get rid of all the water, all the fat that I've gained back on the healthy eating. Um, I'm gonna go for a run, do a workout today. I have a lot, two live workouts later on today as well. Gonna eat a bit more chocolate and then tomorrow, Tuesday, it all begins again. So thank you so much for watching to the end and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.